In CTEC, how do you handle sending parts out for outsourcing? The first step is to set up an order production location that's designated for outsourcing. Click Admin. Click Maintenance. Click Data Maintenance. Search for the Ord Line Status Data Maintenance table. Click Submit. Click Ord Line Status. You can see that there is already a generic, at vendor outsourcing, location set up. But let's create one for a specific vendor. Click Add Record. Enter a description for this location. Be sure to click the checkbox under Is Outsourcing to designate this as an outsourcing location. Fill in any other pertinent information. When you are finished, scroll down and click Submit. Now let's add this location to the labor plan on a bomb revision. From the part record, in the left side menu, click Revisions. Find the revision you want and click Labor Plan. Here, we want to add our outsourcing location between engineering time and inspection. In the field to the left of the orange Add button, Select the outsourcing location you created. Click Add. Now add the expected lead time for this outsourcing step. Click Update. To move this location to the correct spot in the labor plan, hover over the number on the left-hand side. You'll see your cursor change. With your mouse, click and drag your outsourcing location to its proper place in the labor plan. Now it's where we want it, just after engineering time and just before inspection. Now that we've updated the labor plan on this bomb, let's go to a quote for this bomb. Refresh the quote page to update it with the changes you just made to the bomb labor plan. Click Commit to Order. Click Commit Order. We've now converted the quote to an order. Let's go to the work order view using the left side menu. We'll move the work order to the outsourcing location. Select the location. Click move to next. Before we can create an outsource PO and link it to this work order, we need to make sure the vendor and the outsource PRC part exist in our system. First, let's create our outsourcing vendor. Click Purchasing. Click Vendors. Click Vendor List. Click Create New. Type the vendor's name. Click Create. 
we also need to create the outsource PRC part. Before we can do that, however, it's best practice to create a unique PRC code for outsource parts. Click parts. Click lists. Click PRC list. Click create PRC. We've decided that all of our outsource parts will have this PRC code, so we type it here. Click create. For clarity, you can add a description of this PRC code. There are many other pieces of data that you can add on this screen about your new PRC code. Once you've finished editing, click Update. Now that our outsource PRC code is created, we can create a part to be used on the outsource PO we're about to create. Click Lists. Click Part List. Click Create New. Choose the PRC code. Type a part number, you can also use letters here. Choose a location. Add a part description. Click Create. Now that our vendor, PRC code, and PRC part are set up, we can create an outsource PO that will be linked to this work order. Click Outsource PO. Enter your vendor. Enter your part. Fill out any other relevant information. When you've finished, click Create Outsource PO. If you go back to the Order Overview screen and click Outsource POs Plus you'll see a list of any outsource POs associated with this order. If you click into your outsource PO in that list, you can click the packing slip link to customize and send your vendor a packing slip. Or you can click PDF, Export, to customize, and send a PO PDF. When you invoice the order, CTEC will include the cost of any associated outsource POs. That's it. Now you know how to handle an outsource PO in CTEC.